Hello students, in today's topic we shall be learning about the layer technology of the software engineering, software process framework as well as the generic process model. Let us start with the first topic for today which is called as the software engineering a layer technology. So basically software engineering is not just coding or developing something and delivering it to the customer. It involves so many different layers which will be having n number of steps which helps us to provide a reliable and a quality software. Okay? So each layer inside the software engineering process mainly focuses on the quality. So you will be having process that is the steps which help which take uh, help of the methods and the tools to develop a quality product to the end user. So let us look into how exactly is this layer technology of our software engineering will look like. So basically your layer technology of the software engineering consists of three layers. The first layer is called as the process, the second layer is called as the methods and the third layer is called as the tools. All these three layers will be mainly focusing on the quality. So quality is said to be the bedrock for all these three layers. That means it is the base for all the three layers of your software engineering. Okay? So let us look into details of uh, what are these three layers of your software engineering. Talking about the process. Process is just like a recipe that you have to prepare any particular cooking item. Okay? So this recipe is your process so which involves n number of steps. Right? Now to follow these n number of steps, you need to do certain methods. Okay? You have to perform certain methods. Those methods are nothing but the techniques that you are using in your software engineering development. Okay? And lastly, to the next one you have is the tools. So these tools are nothing but the programs that will help you to do your task in an easier way. You can take an example of an IDE. So in your IDE, in, in say suppose in your Eclipse or in your Visual Studio, if you start typing some function, automatically you will get the syntax of it. Yes? So that means it is helping the developer to easily complete its process. Right? So in your software development, you basically follow certain steps which are called as processes. To follow those steps, you will be taking help of certain methods and these methods will internally use tools to make your task easier. By following these three layers, you will be able to develop a quality product to your end user. This is called as the layer technology of your software engineering. Okay? So just brief out everything once. If you brief out everything once, uh, if you look into the diagram once again here. Right? So what is quality? Quality is basically an important layer of the software engineering. Okay? It is said to be the bedrock of your software engineering. The second one you have is the process. So what is the process? Process is like your framework okay, which, is, which will tell you the step by step procedure of development of your particular software. Right? Your methods. Your methods will actually tell you how to do these steps or how to move from one step to the another. Right? Now the tools will help these particular methods follow all the steps which are there in the process and to achieve a quality product. Right? To, to simplify more, let us take an example. Process is just like your map. Say suppose you are going from one location to the another location. So what is process? Process is just like a Google map that you have. Right? So in this Google map, you, it will tell you the directions in which you have to go. In this direction, you have to go to reach your destination quicker. In this direction, if you go, you have a lot of traffic. So methods are nothing but telling you in which direction you have to move, in which direction you have to not move. Right? Now to reach that particular destination, you will take either a car or a bike or an auto. Yes? So those are nothing but the tools. So these tools will actually help you at every step to reach your particular destination. So finally, by following this process, methods and tools, you will be able to deliver a quality product to your end user. So this, this is about your layer technology of your software engineering. Now moving forward, let us understand what exactly is this software process framework. Right? So software, up, up till now we have learned about the layer technology, where I told you it will follow certain process. Process is nothing but sequence of steps. Right? So how are these sequence of steps? How should I follow this? Who is going to tell me what are those sequence of steps? That is nothing but your software process framework. So software process framework actually talks about what are the sequence of steps that are need to be followed by the de uh, developer to give you a quality product. Right? So if you break down what exactly is this framework? Framework is basically 
it is a, a blueprint for the developer which will tell the developer that this is how you have to build your product and this is how you have to de deploy that particular product that is called as the framework. Now what is software process? Software process is nothing but the sequence of steps that are followed by the developer using this framework to achieve that particular software product. So this is about what is framework and what is software process. Now let us look into the definition of what exactly is this software process framework. So software process framework is basically sequence of steps that are followed by the developers to give a quality software as the output that is it. This is called as the software process framework ok. Now we are talking that this software process framework is a blueprint. Yes, so let us look into how this blueprint is going to actually be like. So this is exactly the blueprint of your software process. You have to follow all these steps in order to achieve a quality product. So let us talk about the first one which is called as the software process. So software process, what do you mean by software process? Software process is nothing but it is a step by step procedure to develop your particular software. Right? So to do this step by step procedure you have the process framework, process framework is nothing but the blueprint. right? Now inside this blueprint what do we have? First thing we have is the umbrella activities. What do you mean by these umbrella activities? Umbrella activities are nothing but these are the background activities that are running in the development of the software which make sure that in every step your quality is properly maintained. What are these activities? We will see in the end of the session today, right? After umbrella activities, the next step you have is the framework activity. Now let us say you are preparing palak paneer, okay? So how to prepare palak paneer? You have so many steps. The first thing you have to do is to get ready with the puree of your palak. Then you have to get ready with the cubes of your paneer. Then you have to get ready with the masala. These are the various steps, okay? So each step is nothing but your framework activity, right? Now let me take one activity where you have to get ready with the palak puree. So how do you get ready inside that you have so many steps that are involved which are called as actions, right? Like for example, you have to uh, cut a, I mean you have to cut the palak, you have to boil it, you have to put it into the mixer and make a puree. So one particular step in your recipe is involving n number of steps. Just like that, even in your software development also, you have so many framework activities. The first activity could be communicating with the customer and getting the requirements. Second activity could be designing it. Third activity could be developing that particular product. So there are so many activities. And in each activity, again you have n number of actions. Like for example, if you take the first activity, collection of requirements. So how I have to communicate with the customers, what type of requirements I have to take, how to document those requirements, all these becomes the software engineering actions, okay? Now let us look into these actions in detail. So in this particular software engineering actions, you totally have four different type of steps here, yes? So let us look into the first step which is called as the work task. So what is this work task? Work task is nothing but it is basically the steps that are involved in your product development. So you can take example of coding, testing, designing of the product that is nothing but your work task, okay? So after work task, the next one you have is your work product. Work product is nothing but it is the output of your work task, okay? So after you code, you will get one particular output. So that particular output is nothing but your work product. The third step you have is the quality assurance. So what is quality assurance? Quality assurance is making sure that after you are getting every work product, the quality of the product is maintained properly. The next one you have is project milestone. So what is project milestone? Though, though you are following n number of steps, you should make sure that your product is delivered on time. These are the four task sets that you have which will make sure that you are delivering a quality product, okay? So this is basically your software process framework, right? 
So what is happening in software process framework? So you are starting with the umbrella activities, you are moving to the framework activities. These framework activities are again divided into tasks and in each task you are making sure that you are performing the task, you are checking the product uh, work product, you are checking the quality and you are making sure you are delivering that particular product in the given milestone. Okay? Yeah. And you are repeating all this until your recipe is completed and you are getting your palak paneer outside. Right? So this is about software process framework. Now let us talk about the next topic which is called as the generic process framework. So generic process framework is one type of software process framework which is basically used by almost all the companies to develop their software. So this particular generic process framework involves five activities. So this framework, the blueprint of this generic process involves five steps here. Let us talk about the first step which is called as communication. So you interact with the stakeholders, you interact with your customers and you collect all the requirements that are needed. That is called as communication. Once the communication is completed, you will go to the next activity which is called as planning. Where you will plan what is the budget, how many people are required, in how many days can I complete this particular task. All this you will plan properly. Once planning is completed, you will go to the third activity which is called as modeling where you will create the blueprints, the prototypes and you show it to your customer. Once the customer is fine, you will move to the fourth activity which is called as the construction. In construction, you will actually develop and test your particular product. Once the testing is completed, you are going to deploy a quality product to the customer. Not only that, after deployment, you will even collect the feedback from the customer. So these are the five activities of the generic process framework which is one type of software process framework. Now let us look into the last topic uh, for today's session which is called as the umbrella activities. So just now I told you in your process framework the background activities are called as the umbrella activities which make sure that in every step of your software development quality is maintained. Let us look into the first activity which is called as the risk management. So risk management is nothing but making sure that in your software development if any issue occurs, how to resolve that issue. Let us take one example, you are developing a new application and your main developer is on leave. So what you have to do, it is one type of risk. So what is your plan for it? You have to plan for a backup. You should make sure that there is one more developer available who is going to replace this person. Okay? So all such type of problems must be thought of and they have to also have a solution that is called as the risk management. Now let us talk about the next one which is called as the software quality assurance. So as I have told you at every step you should make sure that your software is meeting the quality. How is that possible? You have to make a checklist. Okay, like for example, your uh, team has developed a login page. So you have to check whether the login page is successfully working or not. If it is working successfully, then you are achieving the quality of the product. So at each step, you should make sure that your software is maintaining that particular quality. This is also one type of umbrella activity we have. Let us talk about the third one, software configuration management. This is nothing but getting ready. Your team should be ready to adapt any change that happens in the middle of the development of your product. Say suppose a customer will come, you have developed a product up till half of it, a customer came and he suddenly told I want this particular change. So without making it a big problem, your team should be able to adapt that change and add that new feature into the product development. That is called as the software configuration management, okay, adapting to any kind of change in the software development. The next one you have is measurement. Okay? The measurement is nothing but talking about the budget of your project development. You should talk about how much is it costing in terms of time, in terms of people, in terms of resources. You have to keep track of all these things in measurement also. This is also one of the umbrella activity. right? And the last one you have is the formal technical review. This is nothing but time to time you have to conduct meetings with your teams. Okay? You have to collect the feedback. You should make sure that the everything, all the progress is happening in the given uh, sequence of time. Everything is followed in a pro proper procedure and all. Okay? So by following all these umbrella activities in the background of your software development, you will be able to achieve a reliable and a quality software. So this is all about your software process framework which is helping you to deliver a reliable and a quality product. Thank you.